530. Local coverage you can count on. After nearly 50 years of football, pom-poms, and cheering, the Citrus Bowl in Vero Beach is finally getting some long-awaited changes. Crews just started to work to renovate the stadium, creating a safer venue for spectators. News Channel 5's Jason Hackett, part of the largest news team on the Treasure Coast. He is live in Vero with details on the construction. Jason? And back in October, inspectors with the school district discovered that the bleachers here at the stadium were more deteriorated than they originally thought. Take a look behind me. You can see some of the differences in colors on the bleacher. Well, that's a sign of structural deficiency on the structure. So now the school district is pouring $1.75 million into fixing these bleachers and renovating the stadium. And longtime fans we spoke to, and I, when I say long time, I mean long time fans we spoke to are happy to hear that. Dennis Sampson remembers when the Citrus Bowl was the Hibiscus Bowl. There was the wooden bleachers, type of things that kids would go over on a Saturday morning and look for a loose change and anything underneath it. In 1967, concrete bleachers were installed and the Citrus Bowl was born. Nearly 50 years later, Sampson, who lives steps away from the stadium, has a front row seat to a facelift. I figure they might finish before next season starts. <laughs> Contractor Randy Beckford says it won't be that long, two months max, but it's painstaking work. With the age of the bleachers, they have to be careful. We don't want to lift something off and get it halfway across the project and um, have it collapse and then uh, you know, fall to pieces. But the bleachers are only the beginning. We have the big press box up there. We have to cut up in, in sections and, get, and lower it down to the ground. All of that means, along with noisy teenagers for the next few months, prepare for noisy construction. But Samson says he'll gladly trade in the sound of saws for the sound of another 50 years worth of touchdowns. You take the football team out of here and we may not have a town. As I mentioned, Randy's team will be done in two months. Tonight, the school board will take action on a contract for another company to come in and do the aluminum bleachers and install a new press box. If all goes to plan, everything will be ready by graduation in June. Live in Vero Beach tonight, Jason Hackett, WPTV News Channel 5. Plans to build up a 